Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this SpiroGraph effect inside Microsoft Word. And it's not real SpiroGraph because SpiroGraph is weighted for one continuous piece of line. Whereas here we will just duplicate shapes multiple times. Anyway, let's get started. So inside Microsoft Word I will start with a black document and draw a new circle. So I will select Insert Shapes Oval, which is down here. And I will just make sure that it's not a circle but oval instead. So I will draw it like this. I may change the fill to be no fill and outline to any color, for example, black for now. And what I want to do is to duplicate this shape multiple times and rotate each shape when I'm duplicating it. So I can do it in several ways. Duplicating is, of course, a matter of pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V. When I paste the shape, it's being offset by a certain value. So we have to move it closely to the first shape. We don't have to be precise. We will fix it later. Now to rotate the shape, it's as easy as uh, dragging this rotation icon, but we want to be precise this time. We want the rotation to snap to certain degrees. One thing how we can achieve this is to press the shift key when rotating and it will snap to 15 degree angle. So we can start with this one. We will copy paste it, uh, sorry, we will rotate it by 15 degrees, copy paste it again, rotate by another 15 degrees and continue like this. And you can see that this time I'm not even moving the shapes to the position of the first shape. I will simply do it after I'm done with the copying. So I'll copy paste it a few more times. And you can see that the paste menu is getting in the way, which is kind of not helping me a lot, but we are almost done. I don't want this to be there. Okay, so it's one of those things in Microsoft Word which is not really helping at all. Anyway, I think that I've reached 180 degrees, which is the same as the first shape. So I can delete this one and select all the objects. I will probably zoom out a little bit and drag the selection rectangle like this to select all the objects. Then I will select Format, Align, and I will align the center and also align the middle part. So everything is aligned. If I deselect, double click here, you can see that we have the spur graph complete in you know, almost no time. If I want the uh, increment of each shape to be different than 15 degrees, it's a little bit more complicated. I have to actually double uh, right click the object, select the more layout options. And in here I have to, inside the size step, I have to set the rotation to the angle I want. And since I have to do this for each shape, it obviously takes more time. Another thing to consider is I can insert a decimal value in here, but when I close the dialog, it will just get rounded to integer instead. So that's one thing to keep in mind. You know, 15 degrees works fine for us. We can again select all the objects and maybe group them together. So we can work with all the shape, shapes at once. And with the spur graph complete, we can still do quite a you know, lot of cool things. We can obviously resize it to a smaller or bigger size. We can also change the shapes, which is a pretty cool feature. If I click down here and select change shape, I can actually change the oval to be anything else. It makes sense to select something which is symmetrical, otherwise it may not work as expected. So I can, for example, change this to be rounded rectangle. You will see it kind of looks very different. I can try to change it to hexagon or any other polygon with more sides and you will see as I add more sides I will get more interesting results also almost like a diamond shape or so like this one I can for example select this plus sign or I can select the cross sign you can experiment with different shapes as much as you want you can select a star or you can select star with more points and if I select more points it will get kind of mess. Okay, so I'm, I was pretty happy with the ellipse or maybe this 12 side uh, polygon. The last thing which I will probably do is I will change the outline to something more interesting. So I'll right click and select format object and for the line I will select the gradient. And you can see it's blue on the one side and white on the white uh, white on the other side. So I have to select the gradient, which is symmetrical. So the middle point may be, for example, orange. And the 
one on the left uh, one on the left and one on the right should be the same color so for example light gray so the middle part of the entire shape this should be in the 50 percent is orange and the outer part is being gray and that's actually all for now next time we will learn how to create the very same looking shape but using the macros so thanks for watching